vehicle's running. I don't know if you see the issue, but you see where my finger is? Down here, you're supposed to see the mileage. And when you drive, you're supposed to see RPM. Just take my word for it. When you drive, you do not see an RPM. You do not see the mileage. All right? And I'm going to show you why. And this is just an issue on a... I mean, it pertains to a, this vehicle in particular, which is a, it's a Chrysler. But I guess it could pertain to other vehicles. Right here, once in a while it'd pop up. I'm going to show you why it does that though. And also when this pops up, the uh, odometer reading, the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, tachometer starts working. I'm going to show you why. Pull it off. I'm not going to show you the nuts and bolts of it. But you, uh, there's some, uh, what is it called, Torx fasteners? Right here, right here, right here, right here. Alright. You have to take off the uh, some of the covers and everything. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything like that. I'm not going to... I'm not like that basic. These right here come off of this cardboard thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is a T15. Alright. So you don't really see anything yet. Because we're not done yet. You want to take a good look at these things. Actually, look at that right there. You see that? What do you see right there? You see the discoloration. You see the discoloration? Those are what we call resistors. You have resistors chips, diodes, <clears throat> capacitors, transistors, these are all lights right here. These are the little lights you have. <sighs> like they say sometimes if you have a check engine light, maybe your check engine light don't work. I've seen it where a, a dealer, I have seen it where a dealer will come and take your little check engine light Take the bulb out and sell it to you. I have seen that. I have also seen... Ah, fuck, I don't name names. It was Meineke? Yeah, Meineke. They cut the wire for an oxygen sensor. One wire cut with snippers. It was nowhere near anything that could have cut it. It was nowhere near... An exhaust manifold, anything. I'm telling you, it was it was cut by them. They went in there with no oxygen sensor codes. They came out and they had an oxygen sensor code. And I had to fix it for them. And I saved them a lot of money. It was Meineke. I don't know where. You see that discoloration? Anyways. They do that shit. There's bad mechanics out there. They'll cut your fucking oxygen sensor wire. <laughs> One wire cut with snips. I mean, it was a clean cut. Anyways, we're focusing on fixing this. You see that, though. You just go over it. You see the discoloration. You see that? Take you along the ride.
And as far as why do I wear black gloves or gloves because I want to because I feel like it no other reason why why are you some fucking people are racist why are some people religious Why do some people drive fucking Ferraris? Because they fucking want to. Why do people do anything? Because they fucking want to. Even if they say they don't want to, it's because they want to. That's why I wear my fucking gloves. If you don't like it, and go fuck yourself. Oh, not to mention, though, this stuff like this, don't go throwing it apart. Stuff you have like this, if you have it laying around, don't go throwing it apart because you can use all that different stuff. You can use the transistors. You can use everything you have in there. You can use all this different stuff. You can use resistors. You can use transistors and capacitors and all that other shit. I think I have everything. Let's see. Disconnect this right here. See that? I got this. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Anyways, I don't mind you guys saying shit like that because I talk shit to other people too. So in reality, I deserve it. So you guys could talk shit all you want. See that? Discoloration. See that? Yeah, it's easy to fix it. It's my little solderless. I mean, uh, what was it called? Bowler cortisol self ignition. Really nice. You got a gas and you got ignite. Hit the gas, hit ignite. Let's see. You ready? You know it's working, baby. Let's go. You can adjust it right here, too. Right there. Make it hotter.
a little too hot. And this shit right here, this shit I stole. Not this, I didn't steal this. I stole this solder. Because I ran out of solder. And I stole fucking solder from this thing. Boom. Boom.
really shitty job. I fixed numerous of these before though. You just turn off the gas. Turn it down. Clean it up. I know it's a shitty job. I do know that. Believe me. Anyways, that's where the problem is. I'm not trying to show you how to solder. I'm trying to show you where the problem is. Okay, that's where the problem occurs, right there. I fixed numerous of these before. I'm doing it on video. I did not do a good job, but I'm showing you that's where the problem is, right here on these Chrysler vehicles. Those are the resistors. That's where they heat up. That's where they go bad. That's a fucking shitty job, ain't it? You know what? Let's do some more. Yeah, that was a shitty soldering job. I've done it before though. It came out a lot better than that. And in all honesty, that's a real shitty job. But, nevertheless, that's where the problem lies, right there. In those right there. That's how you take it apart. That's how you fix it. This is one of the ones I didn't fix. I haven't fixed. Whatever. Anyways. Thanks for watching.